Hello there, it's the first Arsenal vlog since we lost to Brighton last month, so here I am. I went to my first Arsenal game 10 years ago, at the start of the last decade, February 2010. We beat Sunderland 2-0, um, Bentner scored off an Abue cross and Fabregas scored a penalty to secure it. But it's in a tight race at the time as well, so it's good atmosphere too, so I remember it quite well. My second game was Barcelona, we drew 2-2, so... Pretty crazy stuff, seeing Messi on your second ever game, but yeah, that happened. Since then, I've been to almost 200 Arsenal games. It's like 196 or something, mostly home games, but they were like five away games. And six Wembley games too. I've seen so much. I've seen last minute winners. I've seen crazy comebacks. I was at the comeback at Reading when we won 7-5 and 4-0 down. I've witnessed so many crazy things, so many bad losses as well. Um, it's been a crazy ride going to all these games and... Um, I do not miss it at all, so I'm looking forward to this. But obviously this season's not been too good, it's been our worst season in a while, so um, hopefully today is a win, but we're playing against a team that's doing quite well this season, surprisingly. They're in the top six, I think, at the moment, Sheffield United. They'll be tough to beat, their away record is good as well, as better than the home record, um, and we lost to them away, so hopefully today goes better. But yeah, win will do. Uh, we're playing better football now than, than under Emery, obviously. But we still only won one game since Arteta took over. Um, we are playing better, sure, but we need the results. And a friendly reminder that we are seven points. Only seven points above the relegation zone. That is too close for comfort. Okay, so a win today would be great before we play Chelsea away next on Tuesday. And then there's Bournemouth away in the cup on Monday night. Obamian misses all three games. He's our best player, our top scorer. He's going to miss all three games. So we need, we need other players to step up. We need Pepe to step up. We need Lacazette to step up, especially him. He's been off form lately. Hopefully he gets a goal today to get his confidence back because he needs he needs goals. And um, I feel like he'll play better without Ober anyway because those two together, just it doesn't work as well as people think. It just it doesn't. Um, it needs to be one or the other. By the way, I'm going to put this vlog up on two channels. So I've got a vlogging channel now and this channel. Going to be different videos though. It's going to be same mostly, but like at the end... On the main channel, it'll be just my thoughts on the game. On the other channel, I think I'll just vlog a bit more of something else. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, it's quite early now. The train's in like 20 minutes. One of the lifts broke down. And I can't wait to... I can't be able to wait for the other one. Because like when there's one lift, everyone's using the same lift. And it's flats like 25 floors high. So, no can do. This always happens. That's why it always happens. Always a lift breaking down. We got these lifts brand new like a couple of years ago. Because the previous lifts were breaking down, and these ones are worse, so fantastic, fantastic from the landlords, just brilliant. What on earth is going on here? There's two cars in the way, the road is closed. Ah, I see. And I am here. Looks elite. Looks elite. A couple of coaches in there. Seen Sheffield United badge on there, so the away team's here. Another draw. I had hopes for today that we'd actually win the game, and that did not happen. We were winning with like eight minutes to go, then they equalised. That is so frustrating. We should have got a penalty though. We should have had a penalty, and it wasn't given for some reason. There was a VAR check, but it was like two seconds. I've seen the replay now, and it's a clear penalty, so I don't know why it wasn't given. 
That was when it was 1-0, by the way. We have had 11 draws this season. 11. We've played 23 games. Almost half have been draws. As for the actual game, though, we started poorly. Um, the first half and most of it were not very good. Um, we were very sloppy at the back. Gave the ball away quite a bit. And we were just not looking confident on the ball, to be honest. And um, we took too many risks with our passes at the back. Which is really annoying. Uh, too many sideways passes, a bit too slow as well. Going forward as well, like, we did not look like much of a threat, to be honest. We didn't really create much. Create, we, we created some chances, but we're doing nothing with them. We just didn't, like, do well enough to uh, try and finish them off. So first half in general, just defensively and going forward, we're not good enough. But eventually we got our goal. Martinelli tap in just before half time. A good time to score. And considering how poor we were in the first half, 1-0 at the time was a good scoreline. Then we came out second half, we played a bit better, looked more of a threat going forward. We couldn't get that second goal though. We just couldn't get that second goal. And that was important. We needed that second goal. We couldn't get it. We should have a penalty as well, but it wasn't given. So we'll move on from there. And um, then they equalised. Eight minutes to go. They got the equaliser and um, it was kind of coming to be honest. We were early one up and we did not do enough going forward. Nakecha came back today as well. He, he came on as a sub for Lacazette. But yeah, they started attacking more in the last half an hour and eventually they got their goal. They could have won it as well at the end. We made some crucial blocks to stop them. Um, they really could have snatched the game away from us. Um, but it could have been Chelsea 2.0. But it's just, it's so frustrating to like two weeks in a row now. We've taken the lead. We've looked like we can hold it and then we've equal, con considered equaliser. It's just two weeks in a row is really annoying. Um, no Bamiyang both times. Obviously last time he got sent off. It's just really frustrating. And after they scored, we were so slow. Like we were so, it was so frustrating to see. Too many sideways passes, too many passes going backwards. We, we, there was no urgency there. We're drawing 1-1, one, one, right? And we're taking our time. There's no urgency. Passing around the back. Passing back to Leno. It's just... I was just like, what are you doing? We're not winning the game. We need to get a goal. And you're just literally like 90 second minutes. They're having a little Sunday stroll around the back. It was, nah, it was, just, it was just frustrating. We had a corner at the end as well, like right at the end. We had a corner and um, Mustafi headed it on. We had two players running onto it. I thought the moment was there for the last minute winner. Didn't happen. Um, the keeper took it uh, into his hands. Uh, but yeah, I'm just... I'm just annoyed, just annoyed, because we really should have won this game, we should have held on, we should have got a second, none of those things happened, they equalised and they've taken a the point away. We're not winning enough games, we've won, like, I got a tweet here actually, hang on. This was before the game, but it's still relevant. The last time Arsenal played Sheffield United in, in October, victory would have put them third. We lost 1-0 and that was the start of our downfall this season, and it really was, that's where the like, losing streak started. And three months have passed since then they've won two league games. Two league wins since October. October the 6th, I think, when we beat Bournemouth. Oh no. The optimism is back now. It was for me as well, to be fair. Big day for Laka. I'm feeling he's going to get his goal this afternoon. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. He didn't look good today. He looked like his confidence is really low. He needs a goal badly. Um, but he didn't really do much, to be honest. Like When challenging for the ball, he just kept backing out in a way. He just didn't look too good. Didn't look very confident either. Didn't really go in for challenges. Um, it was kind of frustrating. Lost the ball a few times as well. So he didn't really step up as I thought he would, as I thought he might. But um, he's not been playing well for for a while now, so it's not really a big surprise. Bang will be a big miss, that's for sure, because next is Chelsea away. On Tuesday, Tuesday night, Chelsea away. Great. That's going to go down well, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, that's it for the vlog. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And see ya. I roll the dice, see where life takes me. I've been feeling down.